find out why, I'd like to introduce Michael Lamar, this very good friend and cohort, and maybe Michael can shed a little bit of light on the situation. So ladies and gentlemen, our friend Michael Lamar. It's not a matter of shedding light on something very dark, but um, I'll start first with a little story uh, about a wave that's on the ocean, just doing what waves do, right? Having fun in the sun. Uh, but suddenly he notices that all of the waves are crashing on the shore, and he starts to panic, you know? And one of the bigger, older waves says, what's the matter? And the little wave says, can't you see? We're all going to crash. And the big wave says, you don't understand. You're not a wave, you're part of the ocean. And that's the way I look at the magic community. We're all part of something that's greater and bigger than ourselves. And in the movie Troy, one of the actors says, you will be able to say that you lived in the time of Achilles. You know, because some names are meant to be immortal. And, you know, in our case, Daryl is one of those guys that uh, will always be with us. And when he passed away, um, there were some dark things being said and there were uh, things in the news that I just felt were really uh, putting a negative spin on it and I just wanted to try and give it a, a positive spin. So I wrote a little thing about uh, uh, Daryl and I posted it just to kind of uh, see if it could have a different spin than the spin it was getting uh, in the press. Uh, there's a hole in the curtain. There in the parlor of the Magic Castle. It's hidden in one of the folds. Performers could check audiences or watch fellow performers. And sometimes Daryl or I would watch an audience for the other, gauging the response to a move or a bit of misdirection. We probably watched more performances that way than from the audience. Well, Friday night, Daryl made a heartbreaking decision. He chose to pass on his own terms, nullifying an infinity of possible solutions or opportunities and devastating those closest to him with thoughts that maybe we could have said or done something, or the guilt over having missed any warning signs but there were no clues on Thursday about what would happen the next day, and what did happen was nothing like the bizarre images suggested by the media. Castle security cameras revealed on that day there was no insanity or alcohol or conflicts, and there was no crushing anxiety or depression. Daryl was calm and collected and serene. I believe every corner of every room was so full of joy and laughter and happiness, he simply decided to stay forever. Those who knew Daryl understood there was a beautiful, elegant simplicity to his favorite magic methods. Well, somehow in ways we'll never understand, he decided there was a simple path to the peace he wanted. There was nothing salacious, there was no turmoil, there was just a misguided desire to find peace to stay where he could watch magic forever through that hole in the curtain. Well, you'll all be proud to know that every single one of you helped by buying a bash ticket we took part of the proceeds of every ticket sold, and we've donated it to CAMH, that's the Canadian Center for Addiction and Mental Health, in Daryl's name. 